This guy thinks he can beat me up this hill without his bike. I think he's talking rubbish. I'm cycling, he is running. Bike always wins, surely. I can't get it up Mark Threffle is a triathlete, which means I'm rather glad that I'm not racing him when he's on a bike. Hey, just a bit of fun. It's just a bit of fun, everyone. I'm only well, messing. Wow, well, if you owned up to your viewers here, what about? about? You dabbling with a bit of swimming, running, triathlon? It's fine. Line between swimming and drowning, Mark. Oh. I'm often blurring that line. But either way, we're not swimming today. We're racing up a climb. You think you can beat me up here without your bike, which is very bold. Bike's always the fastest option. It'll be embarrassing if you don't beat me. That is true, that is true. But that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen at all. Because you're wearing trainers, Mark, and I've got two wheels. The hill I've chosen for our race today is called Fox Hill. It leaves the city of Bath here in the south of England, and it's got an average gradient of 16%, but there are max pitches of 30%. It's winter time at the moment, so the surface isn't good. Traction is going to be an issue. It's the sort of climb that I often think maybe I would be best to run up, but I'm too stubborn to do that. The bike is always best, or is it? We're about to find out. Right then, Mark. Talk is cheap, time to get to it. Should do it. I am slightly nervous. You did run a marathon every day last week. I'm getting less confident as we get close to the start of this. I would say that's a good thing, but it will be embarrassing for you if you don't win. It will be embarrassing. Still though, I don't think that's gonna happen. You feeling good? I am feeling good. I think you're gonna get me off the gum, but I'm gonna come flying past you. Oh yeah? I'm flying past you, like a giraffe that's just escaped from the zoo. More like a daddy long legs. Right. Well, they're fast when they've got the wings flapping. Okay, right, you, you want to count as in or shall I? There you go. Okay, right, here we go. Bike versus runner. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, you got me with the gun. I can't get it in. I was holding you. Oh, I had this horrible feeling. Same as when you have a bad day in a race, and you're like, this is gonna be a long day. I heard you wince and go, Aah! Oh, you little cheeky oh, monkey. I bet it hurt. The worst part about this is I'm never gonna be allowed to forget this. Why, why was the slowest presenter chosen for this chat? Why, why is it always me? I can work your way out. He's, he's the fastest. I just don't want to admit that on camera. Sai. <laughs> Come at me, Sai. I'm ready. <laughs> oh. There we go then, runner versus cyclist, deep hill. Runner one, unfortunately for me. 
That is a disgusting hill. It is disgusting, isn't it? And it's hard with the service at this yeah. time of year. Getting it all my excuses I, I felt, while I, I can. Know, I felt for you. The traction here is not great. <sighs> I got to about this point and I was like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. you and I was like, I thought that for the rest of the climb and I never got you. I never backed down. Gutted. I'm never going to be allowed to forget this. You shouldn't. <sighs> anyway, let us know in the comment section down below who you think should take on Mark next. Because GTN may have won this challenge, but we've got a few more presenters up our sleeves. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, they're much faster than me. So nice. Well, thanks for inviting me along. No, thanks for it. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being a good sport, Mark. And thanks for absolutely demolishing me. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one.